Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. And if you are if you are following me in Instagram, you might know that I'm just recovering from a surgery. So I'm two months already, so I'm starting back to train. So it's really important this class to share with you because this is is for anybody who are coming after a surgery or if you have limit mobility you have any condition like arthritis, um, anything that limits your training, your mobility, chronic pain as well. This is for everybody. And this is my journey again to recover my mobility, my strength, and my flexibility. So everybody is welcome. Are you ready? So let's start. For this class, we are going to use a belt. If you don't have a yoga belt, you can use a towel. A yoga block, again, if you don't have it, it will be fine. And a blanket. And a blanket is important, this blanket. So I suppose everybody has a blanket or a towel at home, and this is going to be important for our the start of the class. So whenever you are ready, get your stuff, and let's start. Remember that you can put music at home to feel you more in the mood. So ready? So we're going to start lying down on the ground. At the moment for me, because I'm just um, recovering from a surgery, so I cannot go backwards. So the safety way for me at the moment, until I recover my full core strength, is going to be on the side and roll on my back. Fantastic, everybody. So let's start. We're going to use our, uh, our towel or our blanket. We're going to roll it and place it under your hips. Make sure that it really feels comfy. And the most important here is that we curve our spine. So we push the weight backwards and we feel the curving of the spine. We're just going to hold it here. This is a fantastic stretch to release your lower back. You can keep your hands on your hips, and we're just going to take a couple of breaths. Keep your legs bent to fit flat on the ground. Breathe in deeply, feeling the air moving all the way into your lungs, and exhale, feeling all the air moving all the way from the lungs through the nose. And again, breathe in deeply and breathe out. Breathe in and out. Make sure that the back is curving. There is no arch in your back. So curve your back. Feel the stretch and the release in your lower back. We're going to hold our elbows with the opposite hand if it's possible, and we're going to rest them over our head. If it's not possible for you, just keep them again on your tummy. Here, we're going to just hold here for four breaths. Breathe in deep and breathe out. Let's go for three. And Let's go for two. Anna. Only one more. Anna. We change the other arm, go at the top. Let the arms rest, keep your back curving, feel the lovely release in your lower back. Breathe in. Anna. Let's go for three. Anna. Well, let's go to Anna. And just one more. Anna. We release the arms. We're going to lift the right foot and gently we're going to pull the right knee closer to us. And remember here, because some of us, we just recover from a surgery and we have limited mobility, it's as far as we feel good. Don't push yourself hard. Keep your back curved, so then we stretch the lower back. We hold here for breath. Breathe in. And out. Let's go for three. They're lovely releasing your back. Let's go two. And now relax your shoulders and just one more breath in. Anna, release your foot back onto the ground. We're going to change other leg and gently keep your arms under your leg. Breathe in deep and breathe out. 
Let's go for three. And out. And let's go two. Out. Just one more. And release back again onto the ground. We're going to lift our hips. We're going to move our towel on the side. We're going to take the little block. We're going to place it between our thighs. Even if you have a tennis ball, it will be okay. That will help you to engage more our leg muscles. We're going to move our heels under the knees if it's possible. And we're going to breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. Push your feet against the ground. And by pressing your feet against the ground, we're going to lift the pelvis and the spine onto the bridge. Breathe in at the top. And breathe out. Release. That will give us again straighten our glutes out the back of the thighs our lower leg and our core. So let's go, breathe in, push the ground, breathe out, move up, breathe in at the top, breathe out, release, breathe in at the bottom, breathe out, move up, breathe in at the top, breathe out, down, just one more, breathe in, breathe out, up, and this time we stay up, you can move your hands under your back, interlace your fingers, extend your arms, balance the weight between your shoulders and your feet, and we hold four breaths. Breathe in, and out. Let's go for three, and out. Let's go two, out, and just one more. And release your arms, release your spine, and take off your block. The block will help us to engage more of the leg muscles. Now from here, we're going to just toe tap with one leg. So we lift the right foot, hands on our hips. We're going to breathe in as we lower the toes. Just touch the ground with your toes, toe tap, and exhale, move it back. Here we try to, when the foot is going down, that we don't arch the back. We keep our tummy engaged. So we have that sensation of pulling the pubic bone towards your belly button. And we go tap and up. And tap and up. And seven and up. And six and up. Don't forget your breath. Connect the movement with the breath. Let's go five. And touch. Let's go four. And touch. Let's go three. And touch. Let's go two. And touch. Only one more. And drop. This is great for our abs muscles. Let's go other leg. Lift, breathe. In as you lower, breathe out, move up. Let's go for nine and oh. Let's go for A and feel that you are pulling from your tummy. Let's go seven and oh. Let's go six and oh. Let's go five and up. Let's go four and up. Let's go three and up. Let's go two. Up. Only one more. And up. Now we drop the foot on the ground, move our hands under the head, and we're going to lift the head with your hands. Here is to really feel the contraction of our abs so we're gonna try to feel the sensation of move the ribs towards to your hips and we feel here just the abs engaging let's hold four breath breathe in and out. let's go for three and out. let's go two and out only one more and out. 
Gently drop the head on the ground, open your elbows, drop your knees towards the right side and move your face towards the left. We drop and we go as far as we keep both shoulder blades on the floor and we just rest here for breath. Breathe in. And uh, let's go for three. And out. And let's go two. Out. And just one more. Back to center. And we drop towards the other side. This is great for the spine. Spine twist, it helps so much to stretch our back muscles, spine muscles, and give us mobility. We hold here for four. Breathe in. You can close your eyes, remember, and completely relax into the pose. Let's go for three. Breathe in. And uh, let's go two. And out. Only one more. And uh, back to the starting pose. Release your arms and we're rolling on the side. We're going to push our body up and we're going to sit down onto the mermaid. So you can drag your feet closer as far as comfy for us. And we just move the arm, the right arm, and we lean towards to the left side. And we just stretch here for four. We try to lean towards to the feet. Let's go for three. Raise your chest, lift your tummy. And let's go two. Just one more. When you are stretching, try to close your eyes and really visualize your body and scan your body. Let's change the legs to the other side. That will that closing the eyes, it really will help you to feel the alignment of the body. And then if you are thinking in something else, it will help you to bring you into the present moment and really observe your body. Let's go. So arm up palm facing down, we lean towards the legs and be careful that the pelvis don't tilt backwards. So we push the pelvis forward, lift the chest bone and we stretch as far as it feels good. Let's go for four, breathe in and uh, let's go for three and two and just one more. Mm, good, it is fantastic for the muscles in the lower back and the side muscles to give you more mobility of the spine. Let's go on to all fours. So from all fours, again, we keep our shoulders above the hands, index fingers pointing forward, hips above your knees, keep the same with hips, knees and feet. We're just going to do again a strain as um, when we are not moving for a while, in my case for two months, is dramatically how much we uh, lose, how strain we lose. So it's going to be hard at the beginning to re get, regain the strain, but just keep going, keep going. It's going to be hard, but after a few weeks, the muscles will gain again the strain and you will feel fantastic. Ready? So curl the toes under, slightly bend your elbows, and we're going to lift the knees tiny bit. We're going to hold 10 counts. Keep your deep breath. 10, 9, 8, 7, get your tummy, 5, 4, 3, 2, release. This is the tabletop lift, just tiny bit. Now from here we're going to drag the right leg in without curving, just keep you back in neutral. And then exhale, push the leg away, just to regain mobility in the legs. Inhale, breathe in, and ah. Uh, the foot on the ground, you can keep it pointed or you can curl the toes under to give you more stability. And we keep going for eight. Inhale in seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and just one more. 
Release your knee on the ground. Let's go other side. In and push away. Keep your tummy in. Slightly bend your elbows so don't put too much pressure on the elbows. And use your fingertips. Imagine that you cannot grip the ground. So your fingertips are not flat. Let's keep going for seven. And six. I keep my foot flexed because it helped me to have that sensation of push away. Five. And four. And three. Two. And last one. We drop the knee, right hand move behind the back, we turn towards to the side as far as if we don't feel a strain and sensation in our muscles. Let's hold for four, and three, deep and long breath to relax the muscles, two, and just one more. Now release, we change, and we go for four, And three, two, just one more. Now my whole body is shaking, so remember, it's going to be a, a hard at the beginning, but just keep going. It's worth it to have our strength, our mobility in our body, because it's freedom. We can be independent at any age. Now let's go to the puppy. So hips remain above your knees, move your hands forward and let the chest go down as far as you feel good. And you can point your toes or you can keep your toes curled under. If your elbows reach the ground, still keep your arms straight, pressing your hands and your fingertips on the ground to don't collapse the weight on your shoulders. Keep your tummy in, let's hold four breath, breathe in. Uh, let's go for three. Uh, and two, and just one more. Slowly back onto all fours, and if it's possible, we move on to child pose. Here, if you don't go all the way, just push yourself as far as you can go. You can drop your elbows, and we just try to curve the spine by moving chin to chest. We hold here for breath. Breathe in, and now let's go for three, two, and just one more. Super. Now we're going to lie down on our tummy. At the moment, for me, it's very hard back bends. My tummy feels so much in pain. So the only thing I can do, and that is for people with um, limited mobility of chronic pain, um, keep in this position. Your shoulders above your elbows, extreme pose. Lift the chest. We hold here as much as we can. Breathe in deep. Breathe out. Let's go for two. You can hold more, but as I say, at the moment for me, it's so quite painful in the tummy. And just one more. Now we're going to lie down on the tummy completely. Let the face rest on the side and move your arms beside your body. That will help us to release the neck and give us a break. Remember that we are holding the process as far as it doesn't feel pain and we can keep a deep breath. That will help us to enjoy it, but the most important, help us to Relax, the muscles are stretching. Now move your face other side of the neck just to feel the release. That's great, everybody. And then one more time, move the face to the other side. And this time we're going to bend the leg. We're going to catch the foot with the hand if it's possible. Or we're going to use our belt or our towel so we can put our belt and we just pull it here here when we are holding this stretch we're going to press gently the thigh and the hips against the ground to extend your thigh muscles we hold four breath breath in you can hold your foot just hold your foot 
Let's go for the three. And two. And just one more. Great, everybody. And you can release your belt. And let's go other side. Move the face as well, opposite side. And take your foot with your hand or with your belt. We're going to press gently the hips and the thigh on the ground to extend the thigh. We hold for four. And three. I feel so nice here in the thigh. And two. And just one more. Release. I'm gonna try one more time the extreme pose just to help me to start to develop back bends as fast as much as we can. Breathe in deep, press your hands on the ground. Let's go for three and two, one more. Wow, that's why hard light down everybody. And we just turn around. Ooh, to be honest, this was hard still for me. But I'm doing this every day, so hopefully my tummy come back to normal. Ready everybody? So from here, we're just gonna place our belt or our towel on the right foot and we're gonna extend here as far as you can go. We can keep the leg bent, remember no pain and as far as we feel good, it feels a nice stretch. We're just gonna hold the stretch here for four breaths, breathe in, and uh, let's go for three. And uh, let's go to just one more. And then we swap the legs. And remember, it doesn't matter if your leg is bent. Okay, we hold it with a towel. That way the belts are good because they are kind of longer. So it helps you. But you can extend the fantastic oh, as far as you can go without pulling the muscles. Let's hold here for four. And three. Two. And just one more. Now we release. And remember that all these stretches and these exercises you can repeat a couple of times. First learn the whole routine and then the next day, the next day you start to kind of repeat more the twice all of the exercises. Now let's go on to the stretch on the side. So from here we're going to extend the base leg, the left leg in this guys. And then holding your belt we're going to move towards to the on left side, as far as you keep both shoulder blades on the ground. We just stretch here for breath. Breathe in. And uh, let's go for the three. And uh, let's go two. And just one more. And gently back to center. Well done. We swap. Other leg. Extend the leg, right leg. And drop towards to the right. As far as you keep both shoulder blades on the ground. And we hold it here. For four. And three. Two and just one more and release. Wow, it feels good. And release your belt. Fantastic, everybody. How you feel? Now we're rolling onto the side, in my case, and come up. 
how you feel is fantastic and it's just a small routine to help us to maintain the mobility to regain mobility as well and strength so hopefully you like it let me know in the comments remember to like subscribe share and we'll see you in the next video bye bye <laughs>